Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for attending this media conference for the 2012 CIS Digital Bowl. My name is Ben Chaplin, and it's a privilege for me to act as your host for today's media event. As a former student athlete, I say that briefly, um, it is uh, very interesting for me to watch and know that this national semifinal game between the Canada West champions, Calgary Dinos, <coughs> and OUA champions, the Madison Marauders, will certainly be a classic contest. There's been a lot of excitement in the air all week as people around campus and throughout the city have been talking about this great matchup. We are all looking forward to it. Before moving to the more formal components and hearing from our guests, I do have a few announcements to start off with for our media folks. I'd like to let you know that our media kits for both Calgary and your master on the table on the side. And you're welcome to help yourself with one of these. Pour les gens francophones, les clés des médias sont disponibles sur la table à la droite à votre sortie. Si vous avez besoin d'autres questions, vous pouvez vous adresser à M. Ben Matchett, des Finals de l'Université de Calgary, ou à M. Bill Malley, de Big Master. Si vous avez besoin de plus d'informations sur tous les équipes, please feel free to contact your respective media personnel. In the case of the Dinos, it's Mr. Ben Matchett, and in the case of the Marauders, it's Mr. Bill Malley. So let me know. Je vous demande au directeur des sports et de loisirs de l'Université McMaster de vous souhaiter la bienvenue. Je voudrais vous appeler au McMaster University Director de l'Athletics et de la Récréation, M. Jeff Giles, pour dire quelques mots. Merci, Ben. On behalf de l'Université, je vous remercie à tous les McMaster et à la ville de Hamilton et à la ville de Mitchell Bowl. Comme vous le savez, c'est notre deuxième ville de Mitchell Bowl et remarquable, c'est le troisième ville de Mitchell Bowl. Calgary team, and if you go back before that, two defects before that, so this is the fifth time in a row that the Calgary team has played for the uh, semifinal and the national championship semifinal, and the fifth year in a row that they've represented Canada West. So, congratulations on not only this year, but congratulations on a tremendous record. So, congratulations. Um, we're very excited to also uh, this week that the Mitchell, we have Doug Mitchell coming with his family of nine who will be here to present the award after the game, which we're very excited about. And uh, many of you know that he's a huge supporter of CIS, and he, uh, with, it, with him and his uh, law firm, uh, BLG, they support the BLG Awards every year for the outstanding CIS athletes, so we're very honored to have Doug and his family here this weekend, and I'm, uh, and I'm uh, looking forward to, to the hospitality that we can provide him. Um, I'm sure this is going to be a tremendously exciting game. The atmosphere here will be electric. We're within a couple of hundred tickets of being sold out. And uh, I'm sure that within the next year or so that we can say we're sold out and it's going to be a, it's going to be a tremendous environment. Uh, thanks to TSN for broadcasting this. Hundreds of thousands of Canadians are going to get to see just what kind of product we have here in CIS football and CIS sports. And for that, we're, we're very really excited. And uh, thank you, TSN, for, for being a part of this. And finally, I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank the staff on the master staff. This is the third week in a row that we've hosted a, cha a, a championship or a, a playoff game that has uh, national college vision exposure. All of you know that's not an easy task. There's a lot involved in the for tickets to the operations to you name it. And so on behalf of, of uh, our department, thank you to our staff and thank you to Mark Alfano for everything he's done for the last few weeks. It's been tremendous. So anyway, welcome. I hope you have a great time and uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Jeff. I want to present the players and the players who have been here today. It's now my pleasure to introduce you our special guests, players and coaches who were able to join us today. At the same time, I'd like to offer both groups my personal congratulations on your accomplishments to date. I have watched a lot of football over the last 20 years or so, and these two teams certainly are some of the most dynamic squads that I've seen. You guys make it look easy and certainly a lot of fun to watch. So joining us from the University of Calgary, please welcome head coach Blake Mill, quarterback and head Craig nominee, Eric Zaleski, and linebacker and President's Trophy nominee, Mike Edom. From the Routers, head coach Stephen Matasek, linebacker and President's Trophy nominee, Aram Bicho, and the quarterback and head Craig nominee, Kyle Quinlan. We will be providing all of you with an opportunity to ask some questions in just a few minutes, but at this time I'd like to ask the 
coaches for their thoughts on the game, starting with Coach Neil. If you have some general thoughts and comments you'd like to share with your thoughts at this point. Thank you very much. Um, first of all, I'd just like, on behalf of the University of Calgary and Grand West Football, thank uh, you know, the McMaster program, everyone associated with the Mitchell Bowl for this outstanding opportunity. We've, uh, our, our young men, you know, really appreciate this opportunity. They, they understand this is something that, you know, they'll look back on over the years and they'll say this is an important stage of their life. Uh, competitive elements aside, I, I can tell you, you know, the McMaster program is just, um, you know, is, is without doubt uh, close to me. You know, uh, I, I've got friends within the coaching staff, including Coach Vitasic. I, um, I've had some type of relationship with it uh, for over 10 years now, so, you know, going on 15 maybe. And uh, it's a first class operation and again you know when you get two programs like this it, you, you just look at that showcase and see this football to its fullest and there's no question that what i told my young man is that um, you know we're going to have to play our best football game of the year because this is the top the toughest program we face it's uh, a dynamic football program and uh, quite frankly they're well deserving of being ranked number one in the country and are doing a great job as defending national champions. The University of Calgary is, uh, is a team, you know, which, which is coming here. I feel that we're, we're going to be prepared. We're not quite there yet because when you're the traveler in these events, you lose a day of uh, preparation. But we will be ready to play. I, again, I've said to our kids, you know, this is an experience I want them to to appreciate, but there's no question, you know, that we're going to go out there with, with the intent to try to succeed and earn the right to play for next week. So we're going to do our best. I know Coach Vitasic's got his team ready to go and his players are prepared. And this, again, will be a great showcasing of our, of our football, of the level of CIS football, which is becoming more and more a significance in the sporting element in Canada. Thank you very much.
um, our, our guests, and I'll start with Kyle. I have a preference for quarterbacks for some reason. Um, <laughs> can you share with us how big of a difference it is for you to play the national semifinal game here at home versus having to travel halfway across the country as you did a year ago? Well, as Coach Neal said, there's uh, you lose a, a little bit of prep in the, the travel um, process. I think a big thing for us is we have so many fans, you know, traveling across the country, flying and driving um, from coast to coast last year. So now, you know, being able to play this in our, in our own backyard is, is pretty rewarding. We're excited for our fans and, uh, you know, give some of the, the school out here and support us. And I have another one for our, our quarterback from Calgary. And uh, last week, Eric, we played in a pretty frigid environment. Um, this week we're hoping it would be like this, ball me, shorts, those kinds of things. Uh, but the reception from the crowd may not be as warm. How do you prepare for coming into a hostile environment as you will face likely on Saturday? Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Uh, we get to play with some games, so it'll be nice. Uh, you know, we've got your always uh, adaptations and we'll be ready for it. Uh, and uh, it's pretty nice outside, so it's uh, pretty warm out there, so we'll uh, We'll be ready, and uh, we're excited. And for your teammates tonight, um, last week you were playing a familiar opponent in the Giant Rams. Um, now you, you've looked at a fair amount of film this week, but that's really all you have to work with. You haven't faced the Marauders as of yet. Um, how does your preparation change in a week like this one, where you haven't had a chance to actually line up a